Hello, I'm here to talk to you about Healthwatch, and I'm happy to be here to talk about Healthwatch and how we might fit into um, consistently high quality and safe services. And it starts with the Health and Social Care Act back in 2012, um, when Healthwatch, well, the idea of Healthwatch came about. Uh, there is a health watch in every local authority um, and if you were to open Health Watch Bristol website you would see that we have um, a, an image which has been given to us through Health Watch England. So there is a national body and that national body is coordinating um, a health watch in each local authority. So whether it's Bristol, Bolton, Birmingham, there is health watch. And health watch has to be a, a corporate body. So the care forum that I work for has been working in health and social care for over 20 years and was commissioned to be Health Watch in Bristol. And our role is to strengthen the collective voice of local people around health and social care. Um, we are there to help to influence the health and wellbeing strategy that's been set up through the local authority and to provide evidence for the joint strategic needs assessment, which is an assessment of what's needed for now and for the future, and was started by primary care trusts and local authorities and has kind of been gathering momentum. And we're particularly there to make sure that the JSNA picks up any health inequalities. So both the Joint Strategic ne uh, Needs Assessment and the Health and uh, Wellbeing Strategy inform the planning and the commissioning of services. So it's Healthwatch's role to gather um, the information um, and experience that will come from local people on what they think about their health and social care services. Their primary care services that are commissioned by NHS England, um, and NHS England also commission over 70 specialist services. Their secondary care and mental health services that are commissioned by um, the, commis uh, the commissioning the kept, sorry, <laughs> um, the CCG, and, uh, and then adult social care that's provided by uh, the local authority. So Healthwatch feeds the views not only to Healthwatch England, because Healthwatch England will be picking up everything that we hear from local people um, and builds a national picture of health and social care, but also to the Care Quality Commission to give them evidence of what people who are often seldom heard are saying about their services. So the Health and Wellbeing Board <coughs> is there to make sure that uh, it's hearing from all sorts, of, uh, the, 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 um, all sorts of people that are coming around the, the table. Um, and Healthwatch Bristol is making sure that we are, are making sure that we collect all those voices and pass those to the Health and Wellbeing Board as evidence. So it's really important that what we collect from patients and patient stories um, is what people in Bristol are saying. So Healthwatch Bristol also has an additional function to provide, to provide information and signposting. And we do that through a, a well aware database, so a database of information for local people. Um, and we also have um, a free phone function because we do know that everybody doesn't use a database. We make sure that Healthwatch Bristol has clear communication routes for people, that's children, young people and adults, to give their views. We also have a, a partner which is called SEAP, Support, Empower, Advocate and Promote, um, to make sure that if people, when they're giving us their views, want to make a complaint, that SEAP will provide the service for advocacy for NHS complaints. Healthwatch Bristol uses a range of engagement functions to hear the wider range of stories and narratives. We've most recently um, been at Southmead Hospital hearing views of the new hospital and are putting a, a report together now. And we've been working with Healthwatch England on um, some initiative around unsafe discharge. So the Healthwatch England Special Inquiry into Unsafe Discharge uh, meant that we set up some engagement focus groups, we've had consultation and online questions, we've been surveying and analysing the themes 
and we've just done a report and um, recommendations to the trust, which will mean that we will go on, have ongoing monitoring to make sure that um, we find out whether the recommendations that we've made are being put in place by the trusts. But also, our local report will, will be part of a much bigger report that Healthwatch England will report on across England. So, improving quality is a shared responsibility. Healthwatch gather and analyse soft and hard information about service users' experiences. Um, and that's one way in which you know, we involve patient and public involvement. We certainly are doing that around uh, working with children and young people. We had an event in February where we brought children and young people together and were asking them you know, if they want to be heard, which of course they do. And uh, we made sure then that because the recommissioning of children's community health services is happening now, that we have young people as service users actually on the programme board taking part in that recommissioning process. We also have a, a, an event that's happening this October, so later on in the month, which is looking at um, the issue of around um, obesity. One of the things that we've picked up from four young people in the National Children's Bureau is that 30% um, of girls and 25% of boys are distressed by their body image. So we want to talk to young people about that. We're particularly concerned because if uh, a young person is distressed around, you know, it builds into anxiety and depression and, you know, are we sure that the mental health services that are being recommissioned at this moment, um, you know, are up to providing a service to support those young people. So there will be feedback to um, commissioners about that. So in our way, we're driving service improvement and quality uh, through mechanisms to challenge commissioners and service providers on the quality of their service. We have statutory requirements. We can hold commissioners and service providers to account. So when we ask them the question, we expect a response within 20 to 30 days. 30 days if it's a piece of joint commissioning. We have our other uh, statutory functions, which is the seat on the Health and Wellbeing Board, and also the opportunity to go into services, to enter and view and observe health and co social care services, complete a report on what's been observed, and make recommendations. I think that um, Healthwatch has identified formal and informal ways in which people can contribute uh, to our work. We're a, a small staff team um, and we use volunteers. So we have Healthwatch champions and a, and a volunteer champion would come from a constituent group, whether that group is an equality group, um, a local walking group, a health group, um, a neighbourhood watch group, somebody who is talking to local people and able to bring the views of local people to us about their health and social care services and provide the conduit to feed that back. Sometimes those volunteers will have more time to give us and can uh, then become a representative on a patient experience group or another board that um, requires uh, us to sit around the table. But our biggest, I think, um, piece of work that we do is around community engagement. We are there to make sure that the people who are seldom heard or seldom involved have their say. And when we've been working with gypsies and travellers, we've heard that they particularly want to be heard um, by text. And that was something that also came up by children and young people who said that they were happy to talk to us by text. So we've added a text function to make sure that people can talk to us about their experiences in that way. Volunteers form the governance of, Health and, of Healthwatch Bristol. We have an advisory group. We have a work plan that's formed by the, the Health and Wellbeing Strategy, the priorities of NHS England and the, the CCG, and the JSNA. So this is reactive to what is being said and what is being done. But we're also very proactive in our work plan, taking issues that have become a concern when several people are telling us the same thing about a service. So Healthwatch Bristol has a function to comment on NHS Trust's quality accounts that they uh, produce every year, and those are public documents. So one of the ways we can assist Trust is by saying, 
when you produce your quality account, is it readable by the public? Is it, would the public understand it? Um, and to comment on, on what they're, they're saying they will do in the coming year and to be able then to go back and say whether they've achieved what they, or what they set out to do. We also can comment on the equality delivery system where trusts self-assess themselves against the nine characteristics within the 2010 Equality Act. And then we have a place on NHS England's quality surveillance group and this is a, a quality surveillance group across Bristol, North Somerset, Somerset and South Gloucestershire. And the group is made up of representatives from the local authority, commissioners and regulators who have a role to prevent, identify and respond to serious failures in quality. And so for safe services, all our volunteers and staff have safeguarding training. We've got good links to the Care Quality Commission and the local authority the local adult safeguarding board and the local children's safeguarding board so that if we heard of, of, of anything that was a concern to us either through enter and view or through the stories that people are telling us we can make sure that that's passed on so i think that health watch has a role to make children young people and adults views known across the commissioning process and the cycle so that we can say you said we did and some change is being made so just to sum up, our three areas of work within Healthwatch, and that's every Healthwatch across England, is patient and public involvement, information and signposting, and in some areas, the advocacy, the NHS complaints advocacy. It was put into our contract for Bristol, but it's not in every contract. So where it's not in the contract, Healthwatch will align to make sure that we're working closely with advocacy so that if a, pa a patient or service user is coming to us with their story and it sounds like they want to make a complaint, we can support them to do that. Thank you.